you guys, how's it going? So, as you can tell, getting a lot of St Kilda take on Collingwood. Um, should be a real good game. Be a tough game. Uh, Collingwood coming off of the draw with Richmond last weekend, last Thursday, a um, couple of extra days break may work to their their advantage. Um, obviously, we're coming off a really good, really solid win against the Bulldogs. Fingers crossed, we can go well. Just seen then, um, got the Swans and North Melbourne game on, and just seen then that there's a press conference at four o'clock. Um, you would have seen in the video released yesterday that about what that was about, and you would already know obviously what it's all about. Um, obviously, I haven't seen yet and don't know yet, but who knows what it is? Whether it's to do with the new the new Voldemort cases down in Victoria, down in Melbourne. Uh, who knows? We'll wait and see. I'll probably would have touched on that for sure in the latest episode of Chap in the Back with Scotty. Um, but we'll set, we'll, for me now, I'll have to wait and see what that is. But fingers crossed, he's hoping that we can get a good result tonight. Maybe we pick up a win, who knows? Wait and see, see how we play. Um, but as you can see, we've just had Molly, just had Molly jump up. Um, got Scotty on his way over now. We're going to film chat from, chat from the back. Um, which is yeah, which came out yesterday, um, touching a whole whole range of things to do with sport. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, if you haven't seen it, I'll, I'll put the link in the description down below so you can go go and watch it after you finish watching this video. So next time you see me, it'll be after the game in a couple of hours time. Hopefully we're talking about a win. But if not, hopefully we're talking about only a close loss where we've been in it the whole way and it's been a great contest. But I'll come back to you shortly at the end of the game. So that's that. Uh, disappointing result. Um, we just defensively just seem to have nothing tonight. Um, don't want to say... Attacking wise, we didn't have anything. Didn't really get to show anything because we just couldn't get the ball out of our defensive fifty. Um, for lack of a better term, feels like a step back from compared to last week. Um, but yeah, again, Collingwood are going to are going to be one of the top sides this year. So don't know if it's a sign of we still got a long way to go. We we obviously do, but it'll be. I'm more interested now in seeing how we bounce back heading into next week into Maddie's match against Richmond. Because um, Richmond are going to be hurting after having the draw with Collingwood last week um, and the loss this week. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how, how they bounce back, being a top side, being defending premiers. But it'll be interesting to see how we bounce back as well having, after having such a strong performance last week, coming in and into having... Uh, a pretty weak game today with what I saw. Um, as, I, as I said earlier, I was also had Scotty come over and we filmed chat from the back. Um, but it was frustrating to watch that game in part. But again, at the end of the day, like, we're not, we're not going to come out and beat everybody and beat dominant teams. Like, we're not. We're still... I think this is a year where we sort of set that up and hopefully for next year. I'd love to say this year we'll do that, but we won't. Hopefully we set up for that this year and then from next year we push on. Um, it'll be interesting to see where we go from here. Um, as I said, next week will be a tough game against Richmond. Then we've got Carlton and then the next lock of matches will come out. You'd think depending on the outcomes of the positive test of Voldemort. Um, from Essendon, from Essendon. Um, 
and you can even see what they go, how they go about that. But uh, it's it's always going to be a weird season. Like it's I don't know. It'll be interesting to see in the weeks ahead, or months ahead, however long we end up going for, looking back and seeing what this season's done. Um, next year, we'll definitely be able to say whether this year was a was a really good transition year or a poor year. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, obviously, a disappointing result, but... What did you think of the game? Let me know what you thought of the game. Uh, how we can improve going forward against Richmond next week. Um, if you enjoyed what you've seen, like the video, thumbs up, subscribe, turn the bell on, be notified whenever I upload a new video. But most importantly, keep living a great life. Peace.